first time Arab fighters faced the Russians as a separate unit. Bin Laden was not really in command. He had surrendered his command to one of his Egyptian assistants, who was quite a brilliant military commander. But by all accounts, Bin Laden fought very courageously. Jaji was militarily insignificant, but it made Bin Laden a celebrity. He became quite well known. His first pictures ever being published were taken by me. And Osama became a well-known figure after that. Until now, Bin Laden had always turned his back on cameramen and photographers. He refused to be filmed for a whole month until this cameraman asked if he wanted to address the world. This was how these first images of him came to be shot. From now on, Bin Laden used the media to shape his image. Osama bin Laden calls upon imagery that is deeply meaningful to Muslims. The cave is where Muhammad received the word of God. He sits at a meal with his legs crossed as the prophet did. He likes to eat what people leave on their plates. This isn't the way the prophet behaved. He is playing notes that resound all over the Muslim world. The role of the Arab Mujahideen became very popular after that. The number of the Arab Mujahideen multiplied, tripled in just one year. He wanted to create an all-Arab legion, an emergency response corps that would draw from these trained fighters who would be put to use anywhere in the world where Muslims were threatened. Bin Laden already had the idea of what would later become Al-Qaeda. But Bin Laden's vision was to be changed forever by the arrival from Egypt of Ayman al-Zawahiri. After three years in prison for plotting against the government of Egypt, Zawahiri was released. He left Egypt and in 1986 made his way to Peshawar in Pakistan. There he was joined by a group of fellow militants from Egypt. At some point in 1986, the younger and politically far less experienced Osama bin Laden met Ayman al-Zawahiri. Osama bin Laden began to flirt with the radicals, with the extremists, began to, to spend time to visit with Ayman al-Zawahiri. Dr. Ayman al-Zawahiri, when he met Osama bin Laden, he found him a good one. He became a group of people from him. أسامة بن لادن فتمكن منه فكريا وتمكن منه عاطفيا وتمكن منه أيديولوجيا فأصبح أيمن الظاهري هو مخ أسامة بن لادن وهو الذي حقق الانقلاب داخله زواهري was coming to believe that only terrorism could topple the regime in Egypt the Quran forbids Muslims from shedding the blood of fellow Muslims but an obscure doctrine known as takfir justifies such bloodshed. The word takfir has become increasingly current and it basically means a declaration of infidelity. It means um, pronouncing that someone with whom you disagree is an infidel. In Islam, only God can decide who is and who is not. A Muslim. That an activist, that a militant would grant themselves that they can actually decide that even though you profess the faith of Islam, you're not a Muslim. That really is where this civil war in Islam begins. 
the Zawahri and the Egyptians, the Takfiri thinking Egyptians, who captured bin Laden's mind about what they could do in the future. Anybody could be killed. This was a turning point in the history of Al Qaeda and the Islamist movement. Once the idea of takfir became deeply rooted in that movement, nobody was safe. In 1988, bin Laden chaired a series of meetings at one of his houses in Peshawar. The formal notes of that meeting have survived. After praise for Zawahiri and his Egyptian followers, the notes then describe the formation of a new organization. The work of Al-Qaeda commences on the 10th of September 1988. Its goal will be to lift the word of God to make his religion victorious. Zawahiri had not yet joined Al-Qaeda, but his influence on bin Laden had been profound. It took the heresy of the takfir to change him from being simply a pious young Muslim to being a mass murderer. فأرجو الله أن يتقبل منا ومنكم وأن نحرض المؤمنين على الجهاد فانفروا يرحمني الله وإياكم لنصرة هذا الدين 